Hi guys, I have a reformer class for you today using the short box. It's gonna be a fun, creative workout using just the short box on your reformers. As always, I will have the props linked in the description below. It is just the box today. Um, we're gonna get started with your foot bars all the way down. One blue spring on your reformer, which is one medium spring on my balanced body reformer. And then when you guys get yourself set up, your short box is gonna go in front of your shoulder blocks today. And again, it's just going to stay here. So we're gonna start sitting down onto your reformers actually right in front of your box. This is gonna be our warm up today. Now, when you guys sit down, your feet can be on the platform or the wooden platform that's right in front of your foot bar. I'm gonna take my bra line right onto the edge of the box. And then from here, we're gonna lie our shoulders down onto the box. Hands, you guys can start behind your head just to open up your chest. And then from here, we're just gonna let our hips kind of dip down towards the springs. All right, we're gonna move into some curls and some arm circles. Again, this is our warm up. So we're gonna start with the arms up to the ceiling. We're gonna reach the arms back as we push the carriage out. And then from here, our heads are back. We're gonna open the arms out to the sides, bring the chin to the chest, hands go down towards your thighs. So we're gonna inhale, extend over the box, reach the arms back, the head should be back. We're gonna exhale, open the arms out to the sides to bring it back in. Inhale, extend over the box, and then exhale to pull back in. So warming up your spine, warming up your shoulders, warming up your cores, inhale away, exhale open to come back in into that nice abdominal curl, chin to chest, arm circle around. We're gonna go for three more in this direction, two, and then last one. All right, now once we come in, we're gonna pause and we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna push out, open the arms wide, reach them back, let your heads go back. When we come in, arms go back towards our hips. So we're gonna open the arms wide, reach back. They go up to the ceiling and then back down towards your thighs. Inhale and exhale. Use your rectus abdominis, so those superficial core muscles working to bring you up. Again, warming up your shoulders your spine and your core. We're gonna go for three more. And exhale for two. And then last one. And in. Okay, once you come in, you can take your hands onto the box and you guys can set your butts onto the box. Now, again, you guys are on one blue spring. We're gonna stay here for the rest of class. You're gonna reach behind you and grab your straps into your hands. Now, it is up to you guys if you go long loops or short loops. Long loops will be lighter for your arms and then your short loops are gonna be a little heavier for your arms. So long, short, up to you guys. We're gonna bring the elbows into your ribs. Palms are gonna be flipped up to the ceiling. We're sitting up nice and tall on top of our sits bones. On an exhale, you guys are gonna reach your arms out away from you, shoulder, chest height, and then we're gonna inhale, bend to come back in. We exhale to reach out, and then we inhale to bend to come back in. Just making sure, as always, when we are reaching our arms out away from us, the hands should stay about shoulder, chest height, and the shoulders stay back, so they're not protracting, we're not rounding forward in the chest. Exhale out, shoulders are back, collarbones are wide. We are gonna go for three more. Think abs are into your backs, two, and then last one, exhale out and inhale back. Now let's add in with those. So we're gonna exhale, reach our arms back out, pause. Inhale, open them out to the sides of the room. Make sure that they don't go past your bodies. Bring your arms shoulder distance away and then we'll bend to come back in. So we're gonna exhale to reach away. Inhale as we open. Exhale to close. Inhale back. Again, being mindful, you guys, about your shoulders the entire time. They stay down and back and then we're sitting up nice and tall. Imagine that if your spine is up against a wall, it's flat up against that wall. We're exhaling to reach 
Inhaling to open, hands should be shoulder distance away when we come back in. We're gonna go out for two. Should feel a lot of work in those biceps, starting to feel those deltoids working. This is the last one. And then when we come back in, we're gonna pause. Now, we're gonna move into some circles. We're gonna allow ourselves, just like our warm up, you guys, to let the arms go up a little higher than what you're used to on the reformer. Just making sure when the arms go up, the shoulders are still staying down out of the ears. Range of motion, you guys, your range of motion might be a little different than mine. So we're gonna keep the elbows bent to start. We're gonna exhale, reach out, shoulder chest height. From here, we're gonna lift the arms up to the ceiling. My palms rotate towards each other, shoulders stay down. We're gonna open the arms out to the sides. Again, they don't go past your body. When you go to your sides, bend your elbows. So we're gonna exhale, reach. Inhale, open, bend the elbows to come back in. Exhale out, reach those arms up, open a circle around and back. Out and up, circle around and back. Again, I'm gonna keep my shoulders down out of my ears and the movement comes from those shoulders, just like your supine arm work. So if you guys are lying down, we're making nice little swirls of your shoulders. Let's do one more. Exhale out and up. Inhale, bend to come back in. Now once we come back in, we're gonna reverse. A Little more challenging in that direction. You guys are gonna go out and up, straight arms, palms rotated towards each other. When we bring it back down, we bend the elbows, the palms rotate back up to the ceiling. So we go out and up. Lower the arms, bend the elbows to bring them all the way back to your sides. Let's continue to go. Again, shoulders you guys stay down. Our collarbones stay nice and wide. We're circling from those shoulder blades here. And then our heads are staying in the same spot. No reaching forward. Evenly weighted throughout those sits bones. Out and up and down again everyone's range of motion might be a little different than mine you guys have two more and then last one really feeling those deltoids here okay when we come down we can pause feel free to give your shoulders and your necks a little roll now last thing that you guys are going to do before we change this up is hug a tree so we're going to open the arms out nice and wide little bend to your elbows palms should be rotated towards each other we exhale to bring your fingertips together make sure that they're in that circle inhale open exhale fingertips together inhale open the hands you guys should be right out in front of your chest again we want to watch that those shoulders don't round forward when we bring our arms together we're going to go for three abs into your back for two and then last one again lots of deltoids there okay relax your arms we're going to hang up just your left strap and then you guys are going to keep your right strap you are going to rotate to the right side now the legs are just going to dangle over your box it is up to you guys if you go long loop or short loop as always for arm, long loop is gonna be a little lighter. Short loop is gonna be a little heavier. Now, at any point, you guys, if this is too heavy, you can always change to one light spring instead of this medium. Arms are gonna be open out nice and wide. Shoulders, hips parallel to wall in front of you. We're gonna exhale, bring your fingertips together, and then inhale, open again. Think shoulders are staying down. We're back into that hug -a tree motion. Thinking when you are here, Again, we're sitting up nice and tall. Our spine stays in the same spot, so you're not allowing the strap to pull your spine from side to side. Your pelvis, you guys, is staying in the same spot, so those sits bones should be anchored down. Inhale, open. Exhale, fingertips together, right into that right bicep deltoid, so top of the arm and shoulder. Let's go for two more. Again, right in front of your chest. Last one shoulders, hips, stay square to the lot in front of you. Okay, relax your arms. We're gonna go into a teaser now. So I'm gonna scoot my butt just a little further forward so I'm sitting right in the center of my box. And then I'm gonna keep, again, my short loop. You guys can go with your long loop if you want it a little lighter. Arms can just hold onto the sides of the box for now. We're gonna tuck our pelvis and roll back about like four or five inches. Stay here. We're gonna go right knee tabletop, left knee tabletop hold arms are going to open out wide hug a tree again we exhale we go fingertips together 
inhale open fingers together and open now again think your spine and your pelvis you guys are staying in the same spot the only thing moving are your arms coming together and apart use your core to help stabilize you here exhale together inhale return keep that tuck of your pelvis we're gonna go for two more and then last one okay relax the legs we're going to take our long loop now it is going to go all the way around our right leg above our knee right on our thigh and we're going to scoot our butts all the way to the front edge of the box now just careful you guys because your boxes will lift up you're going to lie down on your box knees are going to be up into a tabletop position Hands, you guys are gonna be behind your head and we're in an abdominal curl. Now, the idea behind these is that your carriage does not move. So hands behind the head, hold a curl. On an exhale, I'm gonna rotate my right elbow to my left, left, left elbow to my right knee, extend the left leg out, and we're gonna inhale, come center. Again, to the right left elbow to your right knee extend the left leg out inhale center keep those carriages still we're going to keep going with these we stay in our curl we rotate from our ribs we inhale center exhale rotate inhale center we're going to go for three again keep those carriages still two and one okay once we come center if you guys want to hug your legs in you can we're going to do the same thing to the left so let's go knees tabletop hands behind your head you're in your abdominal curl when we rotate you guys the right elbow goes to the left knee we reach the right leg out we inhale we come center exhale rotate to the left inhale center same thing we stay in the curl the entire time we rotate from the ribs we inhale center exhale rotate that pelvis stays nice and still the carriage stays still you guys are going to go for three inhale two and then last one okay we can hug the legs Feel free if you guys feel fine letting your heads go back. Your heads can always go back. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is alternate our crisscross. So let's take the hands behind the head again. Knees are up into our tabletop position. On an exhale, we're gonna rotate to the right side, extend the left leg out. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate to the left, extend the right leg out. Inhale, center keep alternating it's an exhale to rotate and an inhale to come center keep your pelvis keep your carriages still rotate from those ribs right from your spine inhale back exhale twist rotate inhale return exhale rotate inhale return you guys have four three two and one okay relax our feet down feel free to stretch back we are going to come all the way up okay now we're going to keep this strap but we're going to take it off of our leg once you guys get that strap off of your leg we're going to go ahead and kneel on our box facing our straps you're going to take the long loop onto the arch of your left foot and then hands are gonna be nice and wide on that box. Now, I have my strap, you guys, in between my hands. I would suggest having it in between your hands, otherwise it's gonna rub too much on your left. Your left foot should be lifted off the carriage. Your right toes and balls of your feet are on the carriage. Now, from here, knees are gonna lift up off the box. Both knees are bent, so we have a little bend to our right knee, a nice bend to our left. And then my eyes, you guys are looking down to the floor. I'm in a neutral spine. I'm gonna exhale, kick my left leg back and slightly up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press a little lift. Inhale, bend. Think squeeze your glutes to kick that leg back. Exhale, press a little lift. 
Inhale back. Now, shoulders, hips should be parallel to the floor the entire time. We're engaging, again, glute max, hamstring. Abs, you guys, are in to your backs. Exhale out. Inhale, return. Let's go for four. Keep that little bend to your right knee. Three. Again, abs in your back. Okay, now this next time we kick back, hold. Keep that leg back there. Flex the foot, you guys give me little circles of this leg around. Think like dinner plate size circles. The pelvis stays still. The movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. For three, two, one, we have to reverse. For eight, seven, controlled circles. Three, two, one, and then we can set the foot down. Okay, from here, the strap stays on your left foot. Your right hip, you guys, is gonna go into the box, and then your right forearm is gonna go into your headrest. Okay, I'm gonna scoot my butt down just a little more. Both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. Our hips are stacked, our shoulders are stacked, and now if you guys need to support your neck, so you can always bend your elbow and take your head into your hand. Otherwise, you can just keep your form down. Top leg is lifted hip distance. On an exhale, we're gonna press our leg out and slightly back and then bend to come back in. Keep it hip distance, keep it parallel with the floor the entire time. We're exhaling to press, give that leg a little kick. Inhale as you guys bend to come back in. Exhale out, inhale back. Think squeeze your glutes as you press out. Hips are stacked, shoulders stay stacked. We're gonna move into three more. Two. Okay, now this next time we kick out, we're gonna hold the leg out. Flex the foot, it's gonna be in line with the body. Little circles of this leg again. Same series that you guys just did, but you're lying on your side. Circling from the hip. The hips stay stacked for three. Two, one, reverse. Again, they are small, controlled circles. Head of the femur, you guys are circling around. That's your glute min, glute med work in there for those circles for three, two, one. I feel my glute max too. All right, now from here, we are gonna go ahead, sit ourselves up, and you guys can take that strap off of your foot. Now, when we sit up, we're gonna keep the right strap. We're gonna sit back on our boxes, facing the foot bars just how we started. And then I want you guys to either have the long loop, which is lighter, or the short loop, which is heavier for your arms. We're gonna do single arm bicep curls. So we're gonna have the shoulders, hips parallel to the wall in front of us. My arm is gonna be back behind me. I'm gonna exhale, curl in, my palm is rotated forward, and then we're gonna extend the arm. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend, and the idea, as always, you guys, is that strap doesn't pull or rotate your body. So again, shoulders, hips need to stay nice and still. You extend the arm, you bend the elbow, again, for single arm bicep curls. We didn't do it with both straps, just because it's a little light on this blue spring. I wanted it a little heavier, so we're doing singles today. Again, exhale, curl, inhale, extend, think abs, you guys, as always, into your backs. Curl and extend. We're gonna go for three more. All right, last one, curl and extend. Okay, once you guys extend, you're gonna go ahead and hang that strap back up onto the peg. Now, when we hang the right strap up, we grab the left loop, and then once we grab that strap, we rotate to the left side. Now, we're gonna start with your hug a tree again. So, long loop light, you guys, short loop heavy. Arms are gonna be open out nice and wide. Shoulders are down. We're gonna exhale, bring the fingertips together. Inhale as we open. Exhale, fingertips together. Inhale, open. One side is gonna feel a little different than the other. Again, we're trying to keep our shoulders and our hips still. We're just opening both arms and bringing both arms together, keeping those shoulders down 
and back. We inhale to open, we exhale to close. Again, a lot of work, you guys, in that left bicep and deltoid, which is the top of the arm and shoulder. Inhale, exhale, let's go for two more. And then last one. Okay, relax the arms. Again, I'm gonna sit like right around center of my box, and then my hands are just gonna kind of hold on to the sides of the box for now. We're gonna tuck the pelvis, roll back like four or five inches, so we're in that little J curve, that teaser position. You guys are gonna bring your knees up into your tabletop position. You're stabilizing from your core. Both arms open out nice and wide. Make sure you have a good balance. Exhale, fingertips together. Inhale, open, fingers together, and open. So we're in your teaser and your hug a tree. Exhale, inhale. Again, ideally, you guys, we're gonna try to keep our pelvises and our spine still. We're gonna get a little movement, obviously, but we wanna think minimal movement. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Again, shoulders are staying down. You're gonna give me two more and last one. Okay, then we relax the arms. We take the long loop around our left leg. It goes all the way above your knee. Now, your butts scoot further forward, you guys. You're gonna lie down onto your box and then just make sure when you guys get down that your shoulders are supported. Hands are behind your head. Both knees are in a tabletop position. Watch that strap pulling you to the left side. Okay, from here, again, pelvis is gonna stay nice and still. Our carriage is gonna stay still. We're rotating to the left to begin. So on our exhale, we're curled up. We rotate right elbow to the left knee. We reach our right leg out. We inhale back. We exhale, we rotate, we inhale back. The right leg extends away from us every time we rotate the left. So think right elbow to the left knee, inhale back. We're staying in that curl when we come center. Rotation, you guys think, right from your ribs, that part of your spine. Exhale, rotate, inhale, return. We're gonna go four, two, and one. Okay, feel free to hug your legs if you feel fine with your heads going back. You can let your heads go back. All right, now we're gonna rotate to the right. So the knees stay in your tabletop position. Hands behind your head, carriage stays still. We exhale, we rotate to the right. We extend the left leg out. We inhale, center. We exhale, rotate right. We inhale, center. Again, you guys, carriage. Stay still when we reach out and pull in. It's an exhale to rotate and an inhale to come center. <sighs> Give me three, two, and one. Okay, relax again. If you guys wanna hug your legs, you can. If you wanna let your heads go back, you can. You can always let your legs go down. We're gonna finish this ab series alternating right and left. We're starting to the left side. So hands behind your head, knees in your tabletop position. We're gonna exhale, rotate right elbow to the left knee, reaching the right leg out. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, center. The opposite leg, you guys, extends away. Left elbow, right knee, inhale back. Right elbow, left knee, inhale back rotating from the spine. It starts from the ribs. We stay in our curl. We try to keep our pelvis and our carriages still. Let's go for one more to the left, one more to the right, and then we can relax ourselves down. Ooh, okay, stretch out those abs, and we're gonna come up. Careful when you guys come up, your boxes do kind of slide off. All right, we're gonna take these straps off of our legs. We're kneeling on our box, facing our straps very carefully. We're gonna take the long loop onto the arch of our right foot, and then the strap is gonna go right in between my hands just so it doesn't rub a ton. Now, both knees are still down, but the left toes, balls of our feet are on the carriage, 
the right foot is off. I'm gonna lift my left knee up, keep a little bent to the knee, you guys. Again, a neutral spine, eyes are looking to the floor, abs are into your backs. Exhale, press your right leg out and back, inhale, bend. Press, little lift, inhale, bend. Our shoulders and our hips stay parallel to the floor. Exhale, out. Inhale back, again, press, little lift, and bend. Exhale, press, little lift, bend. Squeeze those glutes, again, glute max. Hamstring, press, kick, and back. Exhale, and inhale. You guys have four, three, don't forget about your core, two, and on this last one, we're gonna hold back. Okay, flex that foot, give me little circles. Keep that leg lifted. Again, head of the femur, circling from that hip socket for five, four, three, two, one, reverse for eight. Keep it lifted, you guys. It burns. Four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, we sit the left hip down. We take our left form into our headrest. Both knees are gonna be bent to the 90. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Again, if you guys need to support your head, you can take your head into your left hand. And then the top leg, right leg is gonna lift hip distance. This leg, you guys, should be parallel to the floor. It stays parallel to the floor. On an exhale, we're gonna press our right leg out and back, and then inhale, bend. Exhale, press, little kick. Inhale back, things squeeze the glutes. So just what we were doing when we were standing on the carriage. But again, we are on our sides. Glute max, hamstring working as we press back. The quad's gonna work too, but really think, squeeze your butt cheeks to go out and bend back in, right where your glute connects to your hamstrings. Exhale out, little kick. Inhale back. Support your neck if you guys need to. We're gonna go for four, keeping the hips, the shoulders stacked. Three. Okay, now on this last one, we're gonna hold our leg out. It stays long, flex the foot, little circles. Again, circling from the head of the femur in that hip socket. They're small, they're controlled. Imagine you're balancing a teacup on your ankle. Reverse those circles. You guys are not spilling that teacup as we circle it around. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, the strap can come off of your foot. Don't hang it up. We're gonna sit up. And the strap, you guys, should be in your left hand. Now we have bicep curls. So we're sitting on our box, facing our foot bars. I'm gonna use my short loop just to make it a little heavier. You guys can go long or short. Shoulders, hips should be parallel to the wall in front of you. My arm is back behind me. On an exhale, we're gonna curl in for a bicep curl. Extend, curl, extend. Right hand can just be at your side. Same thing as before. When you guys curl, we do not rotate the torso at all. Think your torso, your hips are staying. The arm extends and then we curl. So we extend out, we curl in. The elbow should stay in around the same spot the entire time. Exhale to curl, inhale back. Again, if that short loop you guys is too heavy, you can always use the longer loop. Exhale in and inhale back. Now, we're gonna do a few more, you guys. When we get into this next exercise, if you did go to a lighter spring like a yellow or whatever light spring is on your reformer, I would suggest going back to that medium spring. So if you did make it lighter for all of that work, you guys can always go back to a medium spring. We have two more curls. And then last one, curl and extend. All right, now we'll hang our strap back up onto the peg. Box stays here, you guys. We're gonna stand up onto our carriages. When we step up, we are going to have our arms nice and long at our sides. My feet 
are hip distance away. I'm gonna nod my chin towards my chest and roll my spine down. Hands are gonna go onto the wooden platform. This is gonna feel really far, you guys. And then hands go onto our foot bars. Now, thumbs are with your fingers as always. We're gonna shift our weight forward so that our shoulders over hands. And I'm gonna lift my heels up high onto my box. We're gonna inhale, slowly press the legs out so we're in a plank. On our exhale, we're gonna tuck, pike, come in. Inhale out into a plank. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, hike the hips come in. Think scoop into your abs. So those abs draw in to your backs to lift your hips back up. Inhale out, exhale, hike to come in. We're gonna go for three, two. Okay, now this last one we hold out. This time we're gonna inhale, bend the knees to bring the carriage in. Exhale out for squats. Bend, exhale, stretch. Butt should stay in about the same spot the entire time. Shoulders, you guys, over your hands. Push into your palms. Your shoulders should be drawing away from each other, not pinching towards each other. Every time we exhale, we press, we draw our abs into our backs. Let's go three, two, Last one. Okay, tuck, pike in, drop those heels down, and then stay in a little forward fold. Now, from here, we're gonna make this next round a little more challenging for ourselves. After this, we're gonna come into a stretch. So hands you guys back onto your foot bars. We're gonna shift forward, and then we're gonna lift our, lift our heels back up onto the box, the toes down the carriage. We push out one time, hold. Okay, from here, left foot stays. Right foot, you guys, goes to the top of the box. We're gonna tuck our pelvis, hike our hips. When we bring the carriage in, we lift the right leg up to ceiling. When we press out, we tap the box. So as we pike, we lift the right leg, we tap the box, come down. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Right into your core and your left quad you guys give me three two and one okay take your right foot into the well and then you guys can push the carriage out i'm going to bend my right knee and just stretch then push your left hip down so that we can get into your psoas your hip flexors and your quads. In through the nose, out through the mouth with that breath. Okay, carefully bring the carriage in. I'm just gonna rest it against the back side of my right leg, you guys, and then I'm gonna step back up. Okay, both feet are on your carriage again. Feel free to give your wrist a little bit of a roll. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. After that, we stretch. Hands on the foot bar, thumbs are with your fingers. Shift your weight forward, lift your heels up onto your box. Push the box out, hold here. Left toes, you guys, to the top of the box. When we pike, we lift the left leg up to the ceiling. We press out, tuck pike, tap the box when we go back out. Exhale. Inhale, feel that right quad and our core. Two more. And then last one. And down, okay. Left foot in the well. You guys can press out. Drop your hip, you're bending your left knee. I'm trying to push my right hip down. My foot is still up against the box here. It did scoot back a little further and stretch. Kind of lifting the chest slightly up. If you guys need to get off of your wrists, you can always drop down onto your forearms and hold this stretch if being on your wrist doesn't feel good. In through the nose, out through the mouth with that breath. Okay, then we're gonna slowly Bring that carriage in. Again, I'm just gonna rest it behind my left leg. 
You guys can sit on your box and then we're gonna step off to the sides. Okay, done with the box. Let's take it off. You guys can set it to the sides. And then once you guys set the box to the side, we're gonna stay on this blue spring. We're gonna lie ourselves down. Foot bars can just stay where they're at. And then once you guys get down, we're gonna reach back and take both of our loops. The long loops are gonna go onto our feet. Now, it's a lot lighter than what you guys are used to. I want you to grab your straps, pull stretch first. Lighter springs means a little more work for your core. Now, we're gonna start with the legs up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. Feet are parallel. Legs are zipped together. On my exhale, I'm gonna lower my legs down towards my springs, just being very mindful that my bra line stays down, my abs are drawing in, and we're gonna inhale, hinge to come back up. Exhale as we pull the legs down, and then inhale, hinge. Again, being very careful, you guys, that you don't go so far down where your bra line lifts up and you, you, you lose that rib cage connection. Exhale to pull, inhale, hinge, drawing the abs in and up as we lower, and then inhale back up. We're gonna go for three more. Two, and then last one. Exhale, lower, inhale, hinge. Now from here, we're gonna lower the legs back down. We're gonna open them wide out to the sides, circle around and back up. These are gonna feel a lot slower than what we are used to. Enjoy that slow speed, you guys. Again, it's gonna be a little more challenging with this light spring. Make sure the bra lines stay heavy. We're holding our neutral spine. That pelvis is gonna stay still. The movement, again, comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket, and every time I lower my legs, I think I'm drawing my abs in. We're gonna go for two. Feel those quads. Last one. Now when we come up, pause, reverse, open wide, press them down and around, and then hinge. It's an exhale to bring the legs back together. Again, slow, controlled. Three more. And then last one. Okay, then once we come back, low backs can be flat, just give those ropes a little bit of a tug. We're gonna take off just our left strap. You guys can hang it up or hang on to it, it's up to you. And then right foot can be where, or sorry, left foot can be wherever it feels comfortable, floor wooden platform or the foot bar. And then we're just gonna tug on our strap to stretch out the back of the right leg. Again, do not worry about your neutral spines. Okay, then we're gonna open our leg out to the side. I'm gonna keep my hand on the strap. Stretch out those adductors. All right, now we're gonna keep our hand on the strap. We'll bend our right knee. We're gonna send the foot down towards the floor. I'm gonna pull my strap with my right hand and I'm gonna stretch out the front of my right leg a little more. Okay, then we're gonna carefully bring that foot up. We'll take that strap off, hang it up, and then same thing on the left side. So let's go strap on your foot, you guys. Leg can be straight up. Again, right foot wherever it feels comfortable. We can pull that strap and stretch in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, then we're gonna open our leg out to the side. Give those adductors a stretch. Feel free to hold on to your carriage with your right hand. All 
right, then carefully bend your knee, send the foot down towards the floor. I'm pulling my strap, you guys, with my left hand just to stretch out the front of my left leg a little more. And quad hip flexor, maybe a little bit into that left psoas. Okay, then carefully bring that leg up. We're gonna take that strap off. All right, you guys have one more thing. We're gonna sit off to the sides. Does not matter what side, we're still on a blue spring. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my hands onto my carriage, we're gonna go right onto the edge and we're gonna step right into our wells. Now, if you guys want this heavier, you can step a little further forward, lighter step a little further back. You're gonna press your carriage out, chest drops down in between your arms, and then we're gonna tuck around and come in. Press the carriage out, drop your chest down, tuck around to come back in, last one like that. Press out. Now from here, I'm gonna bend my elbows wide, press the carriage out for push-ups. Bend wide, exhale, press. Wide, exhale, press. The hips stay. The spine stays, you guys. You just bend your elbows wide. You exhale to go out. We have four. Abs into your back. Three, two, and one. Now when we push out, hold. Drop that chest down one more time as low as you can go. Round through your spine, bring your carriage in, keep your hands on you guys, and then just carefully step out. All right, you guys are all finished with that workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super thanks. Thank you so much, you guys. I so appreciate it.